Hey guys, John here from Ecom SEO, content creation automation for Ecom and Shopify stores. Just quickly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button below or we'll head on over to our free private Facebook group where there's plenty of great discussion going on over there about Shopify SEO, links in the description. So there's plenty of discussion at the moment in many SEO groups around the world, not just in Ecom, but in all different types of SEO about content creation, the importance of content creation, particularly content creation velocity or publishing velocity. Um, there's some really good evidence and case studies on a really amazing results with producing mass amounts of content. So we're talking up to, you know, between 40 and 500 high quality pieces of content per month on blogs. So, um, you know, maybe two between 1500, 2000 words, depending on what the competition is. Um, guys out there with their blogs actually scaling that output of their content and then showing the results um, after sort of six to, to 12 months. And it's, it's that idea of, of compounding. So you publish content, uh, it takes a little bit of time obviously to be indexed in, in Google or, and the search engines, then it takes time to mature um, and then you'll start to get the results, you know, six to 12 months in and then um, over time after that, and obviously the authority and the, the strength of the site or the domain itself is gonna increase. So it's sort of com everything sort of compounds and becomes a little bit exponential. So the idea with that velocity is obviously loading um, your site with content on the front end and then it, as it matures over time, you get this um, exponential growth in traffic. So we're, you, we're seeing case studies where you, in just new blogs, not like e-com where you can go from zero to um, like a hundred thousand visitors a month in twelve months, which is, which is pretty crazy. So, but what I wanted to just go through is, you know, how can we look at doing this for ecom stores? And I had a call with these guys um, regarding a client, AX Semantics, or a German company, um, and basically what they do, what their technology does, is rewrite text or rewrite content. So a use study, a, a case study could be, or a, or a case use, use case, could be you're a drop shipping store or a um, just a large enterprise store or, or even, you know, someone wanting to, to look at doing this and you're using vendor catalog feeds. Now the problem with vendor catalog feeds, you can, you can publish a lot of content. You can, you know, if you've got a couple of feeds that might have 10,000 products each, you can push those to your Shopify store or Ecom store quite easily and um, have them published and ready to go. And the thing is you will get um, some quite solid growth, um, you know, over the first sort of three to six months. But as, um, even though that, that content, whether it's product pages or well, in this case, it would be product pages, you've got that duplicate content issue where a lot of that, um, that catalog vendor feed content is not only duplicated in their catalog, um, it might be duplicated over 10, 20, 30, maybe 100 different stores um, that are using that same catalog feed. And that, that's a, a pretty pretty standard problem that's been happening for a long while. And what, what's gonna happen is Google essentially is going to um, determine which site it's gonna rank for or which page it's gonna serve for a particular piece of content that's the same um, the same bit of content, so it's duplicate. And if you're a new store, you're not gonna get a look into some of the bigger stores. Um, and then it, it comes with all sorts of other issues um, later on, and there are um, potential for penalties and all that sort of thing. So the holy grail essentially of um, publishing products is the ability to create unique content that you can control, um, is unique, obviously, is um, user-friendly, SEO-friendly, is readable um, and actually is in context of what the product is. So that's what this, this tool does, or what, what they claim it does. Um, it, you can take feeds f um, and text from certain sources. In this case, it would be a vendor product feed. It generates new text um, uniquely, and then you can publish that to your store. Um, now, the, the mechanics of it, um, I haven't gone into it how they actually 
do it in terms of um, from point from the point of getting that that content from the vendor and then publishing it to the store, um, whether it's done through API or an app, I'm not sure. Um, but I had yeah, like I said, I had a call with them. Um, they're quite bullish on on what this um, technology does. Um, there's, there's different types of AI that's working at the moment. But this intrigued me because they've, they've got some case studies. Um, if we just go to e-commerce, we can see um, what they claim it does. So automated product descriptions and category text for e-commerce companies, um, you generate unique product descriptions, automate SEO category texts, um, and then they've got some case studies here as well. So if we look at some of these, so yeah, a lot of a lot of European and sort of enterprise level world global um, brands uh, are using this. They say, and what I would think, if some of these big brands are using this, it obviously works. Um, so you've got some case studies and um, testimonials here. I'll just bring over my other screen. I have a um, almost like a pitch here from them. Uh, Robo Riders will create 2 percent of all business content in 2018. So this is probably a couple of years old. If you're writing text manually, you may as well be using one of these, an old computer, blah, 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 just sort of a pitch. Um, okay, so AX Semantics writes better text than you do seriously. It's a text robot that sits in the cloud and writes text based on your data. It does so lightning fast, error free, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even on Sundays in over 24 languages. That's pretty cool. And for a fraction of the cost of manual writing, it also doesn't drink your coffee. Okay, then they've got a couple of examples here of uh, human written content and then the, the content that the bot writes. Um, and, and, you know, they can, for, for these sort of testimonials, they or these sort of um, uh, these sort of, um, sorry, I just had someone walk in the door. These sort of examples, um, you know, they can make these look as good as they want, but you've got to take it with a grain of salt. But, you know, if that's what, what the, the technology does, it's pretty good. Um, and like I said, it just gives you a bit of an idea of what sort of um, scale they're doing this at. So in some of the brands um, that, are do, that, they're, that are using this, um, the results they're getting, 110, 101% increase in sales, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, conversion increase as well. That's interesting. Um, and I know that um, it's not spinning text, like um, or using um, syntax spinning, like as you know, that was old school type of um, creating unique content. Um, it's a little deeper than that. I, again, I'm not sure the technology they're using to do this. They said it's proprietary. Um, so to me, this is really intriguing because we know we can create sites that Google likes, um, but at scale, how do you do that and create that unique content? So I'm just have, we'll just have a look at the pricing. Um, yeah, so it's not cheap, but I would say that's pretty good value for money uh, if you're, you know, you've got 20, 30, 40,000 products and you can scale that over sort of six to 12 months. Um, so, Really intriguing. I just wanted to, you know, have a bit of a discussion about that, chat about that. Um, it might be something we actually look at ourselves um, on a project in the next six to 12 months. AI is coming very quickly, and obviously we all know that's where it's gonna be in the future. The implications of that, no one knows yet. Um, but if you, we can get in, get in early uh, and have this working for you, um, I think it has massive potential. Um, I think that this is one of those um, those technologies where if you, you do it right, you can win big very quickly. Okay, hope that was informative and helpful. Uh, talk to you in the next video.